Okay, so I want to do a quick uh, video about what happened to the wagon and so you guys can see some damage, give you a little update as far as what's going on. So check it out. So obviously that's the bulk of the damage. Let me see if I can turn this way. The, uh, it wasn't a heavy impact, but it was enough to wrinkle up that fender extension. And that gem right there, those are about 150 bucks a piece used. The Chevelle ones don't fit, so you have to use the El Camino ones, and they don't repop those. Um, for some reason, the Chevelle ones, they kind of fit, but they don't line up and they kind of flop around. So you can see it completely closed down the gap in the fender, but as you get towards the back, it opens back up. So it sort of pushed the fender that way and it completely touches here and then over here it's not too bad. Um, I got underneath the car, nothing frame wise is bent. There was a slight chip out of the, uh, the grill right here but it, it actually fits underneath. It doesn't show. So I'm not really pressed about it. Um, all, all in all, uh, so far, I've got that ordered. I have a fender ordered. The uh, lens, the trim, the little bezel thing that actually holds the light that fits inside there. And I'm probably going to need that little piece from the core support that kind of goes this way. Um, the bumper, other than that little scuff right there, and I'm going to say that that'll buff out. I'm not sure, but there's actually no dent. This part right here opened up the other guy's back door like a pop, like a pop can. It just ripped it open. Um, but nonetheless, uh, back here... There's a, a place where this mounts, and it actually, well, it was kind of rusted. I mean, let's face it, the car has some rust. It had some rust, and it sheared that off. It broke. So back here, you can kind of move this around a little bit. Uh, that was banged up a little bit. Um, I won't have to get... The little patch panel now because this is all going to be replaced if you look you can see how big this gap is i can almost stick my finger in there now uh, but anywho that's what's going on with the wagon uh, i'm going to try to get it done before it goes back into storage um, the bezels i got from a place called chicago muscle car i believe and they have a big warehouse up there so check them out online, they hooked me up. And uh, as far as the Camaro goes, um, I got tires for it, and you may or may not see that at a drag strip very soon. All right, until then, um, I'll do small bits as far as what I'm doing to this. I also got the uh, Petronix kit to upgrade the ignition because the ignition in this thing was starting to get a little finicky. It died on me at work. And uh, I think I've taken the points as far as they're gonna go, as far as drag racing goes. So there's no need to keep them. Um, they're sort of a pain in the ass to keep adjusted. So I got the Petronix kit along with the, the uh, new coil. So until next time, stay sharp, keep a tight shot group, and rock on.